Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Saturday, September 1st, 12.27 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018, from Denver, Colorado, hotel room outside the airport. Still haven't been back to Pagosa. Fisher 8 is empty here on Kilauea, dry as a bone, and amazing footage straight into the hole. In fact, the eruption at Kilauea Volcano is the least amount of activity since 2007. That's 11 years. This baby is over. It's over, Johnny. Now, I'm not raising my voice because I'm in a hotel room. <laughs> so bear with me. Let's get on with the update. Hey guys, have you heard? September 1st marks the beginning of meteorological fall. Here's what's to expect according to the Weather Channel. Bison and snow. Yes, it's true. Look at that. It's amazing. That's not really what we're here for. <laughs> There's a gusher. So, name storm frequency, September 1st, tropical storms, highest percentage. That's what we're looking at right now. Uh, but because of the coolness of the Atlantic, we're not expecting many tropical storms to develop. But this is the peak right here and it's going to drop off from now that's probably what she's saying tornadoes pretty low average but let's check out the gfs model through september 11th showing snow coming down in montana possibly wyoming and we'll be watching the snow develop as this winter is set to be a very cold and deep burying and why am i saying that because we are at the minimum of cycle 24 expected to last for at least two more years and we're expecting winters to get increasingly worse as the minimum increases east idaho gets snow in august we've been reporting snow across north america very early it's happened before at the last minimum 2009 similar events were occurring when was 2009 you ask <laughs> back here <laughs> at the minimum of 23 going into cycle 24. Boom. Speaking of booms, yes, there it is. East Idaho gets snow in August, and that's a boom. Ping pong sized hail falls in Wisconsin, boom there. All the links down below. UK forecast severe frost followed by, by Azores heat with possible hurricane. Grand solar minimum much? <laughs> It's a boom. <laughs> a blast of warm air from the Azores is set to push the mercury in the UK to 26C next week. And there may be a hurricane a brewing. We're talking a storm down to 943 millibars, which is equivalent to a Cat 4 off the shore of Ireland the UK. Whew. And we warned of the heat up here in New England and the potential for a major storm to hit the Northeast. So that is still the potential Still on the table, Australia snow on the way this weekend. A strong cold front will cross the Alpine region on Friday, bringing a good amount of snow for those heading to the results, extending the ski season well into October. Spring sun to give way to thunderstorms, snow, gale force winds, hail, and rain this week in New Zealand. Totally chucked. Look at that guy. People should get out and enjoy the first day of spring. Uh, what? What? Super Typhoon Jebai tips ties for the strongest storm on the planet in 2018. Heads towards Japan. Whew. I don't have time. And I'm trying to be quiet. No quakes and note. We do have this Rumbler 4.4 in Iran. And interestingly enough, Ely, Nevada, where there's a huge copper pit. This is where I did my field camp for geology. Middle of nowhere, 2.7. Could be explosive activity. Back to Fisher 8. Do another quick flyby. Now the island is about to name this fisher, and they're going to name it using native language, and here they are proposing the law that will then name Fisher 8 into a new caldera. Who knows? Sorry about the sniffles. 
Climate change, ice cold temperatures behind extinction of Neanderthals. Yes, climate change may have been uh, crucial, of course, behind the extinction. And it was the end of the last interstadial 44,000 years ago that ended the uh, Neanderthals. So come get schooled and learn about uh, the, hom the uh, hominids that we crossbred with. <laughs> During the last ice age. This is coming in from a top secret source, our Canadian ice and weather briefing from the Arctic for August 31st. Now, I want you to just jump down here quickly to page 56 with me. And we're going to get some knowledge. Are you prepared? Let's get this down to 56. Okay, come up here. Take a look at this. Where are we? Maybe it's 65. <laughs> Whew, I know. Oh, here it is. This is the single, uh, single season weekly ice coverage going to the end of August. Check out this chart here. Percentage ice cover up in the Arctic all-time highs here, and we can do a comparison to last year. Here's the melt season, and you can see the melt season this year, and you can see where we are here on August 27th of this year. And this is why that ship got stuck, because they didn't check the graphs. Now, I have a secret source sending me this information, so please use it to your advantage. There'll be links below to the ice weather briefing in the Arctic, Thursday, September 3rd, 2015. <laughs> now, if you're not prepared, check out our new sponsor, My Patriot Supply, and <coughs> use the link below. <coughs> <clears throat> to support the channel and to support your own preparedness. They have water filtration, air purification, survival essentials, and more. There's always a deal of the day, and it's totally insane. So if you get paid on Friday, just click the deal of the day and see what's going on here. We have fudge brownie mix, 20 bucks for 48 servings. That's something I would want to stockpile. 54% off, and you support your preparedness and our channel i don't know what could be more than a rihanna boom code red are you prepared be prepared dot com i don't even know what that is but oppenheimer ranch is preparing and is hoping that you're preparing too which is why we have a new sponsor with emergency survival food my patriot supply so anything you buy from here supports the channel as well as your preparedness And check out the Patriot Pantry. It has seeds and every type of food you have, all the way down to 10 cans. So whatever you're interested in, this is basically the best value on the market. I did my homework, and you get the benefits. Times are changing, and it's time for you to prepare. See the purple? Here we are. Are you ready? We'll be back to normal tomorrow in Pagosa, I promise. Thanks for bearing with us.